legendary muscle mass forged from the big three lifts. What does that mean? What that means is, take for example Arnold Schwarzenegger. We all remember him and think of him as a great bodybuilder, one of the best to ever walk the stage. But long before he was known for his physique, he was working on something else. He was working on his strength. And strength, my friends, is your foundation for great muscle mass. Arnold was doing a lot of Olympic and powerlifting, uh, Olympic lifting and powerlifting before he ever you know, graced the, the stage with his tremendous physique. The key to unleashing anabolic hormones like testosterone, growth hormone, IGF-1, insulin growth like, uh, insulin like growth factor one, is to do the, the big lifts, the compound lifts, with a certain amount of intensity, and then the body just responds. It's just reacting to what you're giving it, okay? So, the key point here is to always remember that the big three lifts should in some way, shape, or form be present in your workout routine. You could play around with the weight you're using, the reps, the sets, the, the time, uh, the, the rest periods in between, uh, the frequency, all these things. You can play with the variables, but you must always incorporate the big lifts if you truly want to have the greatest impact on your muscle development and your strength potential. Coach Chris, Team Critical Bench, let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. Are you making some good gains, but not quite where you want to be? Assess what you're doing in the gym, because you might just be missing out on one of the key lifts, bench press, squat, and deadlift. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.